Hello again everyone, and welcome back to part 16 of my Crash Team Racing Nitro Field Let's Play, where as you may see, I am now playing as White Tiger Pura, and I've also done some cart customizations as well, but anyway, here we go, we're going to do the Blue Gem Cup, which I thought would make quite an interesting change. Because I don't usually often play as beginner characters, but I thought for this part, why not? Because I'm actually wanting to unlock all of the Polar and Pura skins. Because, I mean, Polar and Pura are really adorable characters, I'm not going to lie. I mean, they're probably, like, some of the most adorable video game characters that I have ever known. Uh, apart from George and Farley from the Spyro series, which... Really, like, Snow Leopard and a Wolf, which... I'm not going to deny a really adorable. But anyway, here we are now in Tiny... Uh, uh, I nearly said Tiny Arena. Tiger Temple. Well, that rocket went wildly out of control. It nearly hit me. And it's still trying to lock onto me. I'm like, go away, I don't want you. I don't want to be hit by a rocket. Right, that was... Absolutely genius, the way that went down. Now this is one thing I've got to criticise about this game. Well, not criticise, sort of like nitpick. Because I don't really like to criticise a game that's really good, like this. But, I mean... One thing that I've noticed is, if you're playing as hard AI, which is really is hard AI, they're like proper like equivalent to pro players. The problem is that they don't ever seem to want to take the shortcuts, which really is kind of weird because certain tracks like Crash Cove are really hard to beat, other tracks such as Android Alley and this track, they don't even bother to take the shortcuts, so they actually end up being easy to beat. Now that's something they really could update on in the future. And also we should tweak the hard mode, the hard mode should be made a lot easier as well and they should have an unlockable, via a cheat code, super hard mode. A bit like they did in the original Crash Team Racing. Because I think that would make a lot of sense, personally. I mean, there's no reason why they can't do that, honestly. And I should have really saved that bowling bomb, because now I can't take the shortcut. That's something interesting. Can I reach the shortcut path from the main track from the other side? I suppose you can. It might take a bit of practice. But I know there's no re re real advantage to it. But I thought, why the heck not try it? But anyway, here we go. We've got the first race done out of the way. Tiger Temple. Which I keep co uh, confusing with Tiny Temple because they are very similar tracks. But anyhow, that's the first track done. I think the next track we are going to be doing possibly might be Dingo. No, not Dingo Canyon. It'll probably be uh, Dragon Mines. I think it's Dragon Mines, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, Sewer Speedway. Yes, Sewer Speedway. <laughs> right, that's weird. How come it port? Tiger Temple before Sewer Speedway, even though Sewer Speedway actually does come before. Right, that makes absolutely no sense at all why they would do that. I mean, Naughty Dog did it obviously, but I mean, why? Right, the turning on this is really tight. Now I'm going to try something to get this shortcut, because getting that shortcut, if you remember, was a pain. So what I'm going to try to do is go down here and jump. Right, I've figured out what you've got to do now. You've got to hold down on the D-pad as you're jumping as late as possible. Right, if I can get the shortcut twice more, then I know what it is. And these guys up here... They're the ones from uh, Toxic Waste, aren't they, that throw the barrels? I'm pretty sure. 
You see, these are all nice details that they've added in. Right, this is what I'm going to try this time. I'm going to jump here. I'm going to hold down on the D-pad. Jump. Yes, that's what you got to do. I've figured it out now. Because the other day, I put it on Twitter. I don't think... I, don't, I didn't put it on YouTube. But I struggled really badly trying to beat Oxide on this stage. Because I could never get the shortcut to work. And now I've finally figured out that what you've got to do is you've just got to simply hold down the down button. That's all you've really got to do. Now, I don't know if it's easy with beginner characters or not. But to what I do know is it's a lot easier just to hold down the down button. And that's all I need to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to jump at the last bit of the ramp again. Holding down the down button. Does it work? Yes, it does. Right, that's... I finally figured out how to get the shortcut in Sewer Speedway. No, go on. No, I can't activate Mako Aku. Right, if you're under a, we a, a weapon, can you not activate Aku Akus? I don't think you can, that's pretty strange. Anyway, here we go, that's second race done. And that was pretty much a flying victory, I mean, wow. And I left a Geary sticker on. <laughs> Why did I do that? Wow, I mean, that was a pretty dumb mistake. So as you can see, I'm nearly at the end of the Grand Prix. Which hopefully I should be able to get done very soon. Let's check my recording still going because sometimes my computer can be a bit temperamental and find out that it's not recording. Because I mean that's happened to two of my friends as well. They've been recording parts. Or one at for an, I know of where they've been recording parts and something to do with the USB adapter on MacBooks falling out of the port has made it so that their part has not recorded, quite sadly. So here we go with Dragon Mines, of which I did kind of get in the guess again, because I mean, Dragon Mines is one of those stages that have the blue portals. Right, can I boost through that tunnel? Now, I'm not a fan of beginner class too much because of the low speed, but turn really does help on corners like this. Although, if you're a beginner player, or not a super serious player, or you just want the car the character to select, which should be, you know, intermediate, we know it, it selects a character which has balanced, such as Crash, Cortex, or Komodo Joe. Because that's the easiest way to get through this game. Right, having Aku Aku Invincibility really does help in that tunnel right there. And I'm bumping into everything again, which is something that I'm not really wanting to be doing. Although, what I just said I did not make very clear, so what I'm saying is, not just novice players, but if you're wanting just a character to go universal throughout the whole adventure mode, especially if you're playing in classic mode, I recommend that you use Crash or Dr. Neil Cortex or another character like Komodo Joe, Geary or something like that or Small Norm because basically they have balanced statistics. Which will suit all tracks. So here we go, we managed to get yet another race one. So this is basically all these are going to be 46 points. Well, 36 points. 36 points is the total that you can get. So anyway, here we go with the next race. The final race, which I believe is in... It's not Cortex Castle. Is it Engine Labs? I really don't know. I think it's Engine Labs. I think it's Engine Labs. Yeah, Engine Labs is a stage, that's the one. Sorry for the creaking in my chair. I need to get that looked at. I keep saying I'm going to look at it, but I never do. But anyway, oh, here we go with Engine Labs.
Now, can I get Sacred Flame with a beginner character? That's a good question. Hopefully, I should be able to. And yes, I've got the blue flame. Awesome. Right, can I maintain it throughout the, the entire track? That's another question. No, I didn't. I lost it straight away. I think you've got to be like drifting and boosting in the tunnel. But getting the sacred flame in this track does make all the difference. And it does cause you to get significantly faster lap times. Right, jumping over to that boost pad is a lot easier in this version, I will tell you that. Because I really struggled to do that with a beginner character in the original game. And while beginner characters are so slow if you're not drifting, I, I basically, that's why I recommended before to use a balanced character. Never use an expert character for the simple reason the turn just downright sucks. I mean, just don't do it. Wow, I'm actually managed to make attain Sacred Flame. Well, then I lost it. Great. Right, if I can maintain it for the whole lap again, that would be pretty cool. Let's make it an entire lap this time. No. Oh, no. Right, that was totally a suck up. I mean, I don't understand what the hell that was. That was pretty terrible. Keep the boost high through this tunnel. And without threats to the track. So hopefully I should not screw that part up. And now I've got invincibility shield. So at least if I hit something, I don't have to like start entirely over. And wow, I've still got the blue flame. Right, if I get blue flame across the finish line, that'd be pretty cool. No, I don't understand what hit me there. That was a rocket, so it must have come off the cross path. Or whatever you call it. Wow. Anyway. Pure is so adorable. Oh my heart. Anyway, here we go. That's another gem cup now completed. So I've recorded three gem cups today. I think I'm going to leave it for now. I might record some more later. I'm not too sure yet. But anyway, this has been part 16. So we're getting close towards the end, guys. And I've really enjoyed doing that, so let's play. And I can't wait to do more. So here we go, blue gem cup, and now the blue looks very different, it's more of a light blue than a dark blue, as opposed to what it is in the original game, so it's more like the top of them columns you see in here as opposed to the bottom, so, like a lighter blue. For an insane, there was actually, was, a dark blue, so that's actually pretty interesting, but anyway we've unlocked purple Komodo Joe, so that's a new skin. But that's that anyway, uh, so thank you so much for watching once again, I hope you enjoyed watching me get the blue gem, that just leaves two more gems to go, which will be, indeed, yellow and purple. So of course everyone, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in part 17, where we get the yellow gem. So goodbye and take care everybody, for now, I will see you all then.